and I have been close personal friends. And I, I, I basically ignored ignored it because I know her from pal talk from 10 years ago, not in terms that we were personal friends, but that she was one among many people that, you know, would appear in the rooms. Right. And I'm just going, wow, what, what is wrong with this weird? You know, I just thought she was a kook. All right. Welcome home. Uh, who's speaking? Yanis. Oh, Yanis the prevaricator. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Well, I'm not. I'm. I'm not home. I'm here temporarily, uh, and I'll be gone as quick as if if Doobie and the admins uh, allow trolling, stalking, or if they themselves troll or stalk me. That that's why I left for a long I, time. I hope so that's if there is no things. trolling or stalking, I, I, you will no, stay. Honestly, I hope. I hold hope, on a I second. Hope if you're, hold a on baby. a second. Hold on a second. The guy at the bottom of the screen with the Chinese characters. If you're going to speak in this room, you have to have a readable name. And if you choose not to, if if you choose to speak again without changing your name, I will banish you. You won't be able to get back in here. Okay? You have to have a readable name. It's racist. Okay. I'm hoping that Real, hold on, hold on, hold, hold on a second. Why is it racist? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Why is that racist? It's not. Who who said it was racist? Explain to me why. Yeah, I'll just I'll just warn you, you you people who want to do drive by heckling. I catch you. I see your screen name heckling, and without further warning, I will just type in the command that you're banished, and you'll never get back in here again on that account. Okay. So go ahead, just drive by heckle, right? And you'll get the banish um, role. Darth, I have a question for you. Go ahead. Oh, okay. What is the argument for your claim that all of the worldviews, aside from Christianity, contain contradictions? Oh, I, re I recognize your voice. You're that little stalking little troll. <laughs> so you, can you answer the question? Please? Right, right. Now, listen, Do are, are you home right now? Yeah. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to get your mother and father on, on the microphone because I want to talk with them. Whoa. My mom's at the hospital. So is my dad. Okay. I'm yeah, oh, sorry. Bro. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh. So is this? Is it? So is this why their little numb nuts, little small testicle, little boy likes to stalk people on the internet? My mom's only got the hospital. Okay. Hey, 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 guess what? Guess, hey, guess, 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 guess what? You know, I'm glad you spoke up. Yes. Yeah, so can you answer the question, please? Dumbass. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. Hey, hey, li hey, listen. You will never be able to get in here again on this account. Bye, stalker. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, the internet is a strange place, you know. You, you, if it you is. Get any, if you get any kind of notoriety, okay, you, you attract, you know, like flies to a pile of horse crap. Not that I'm a pile of horse crap. Uh, you know, you get some of these weird people who have fixations on you. You know, it's like John yeah, Hinckley. Has, has God revealed himself? Has God revealed himself? Of course, yes. Do you deny that? No, uh, when has he revealed himself? God has revealed himself through each and every individual fact. Each and every individual fact is indicative and revelatory of God. And God is also, which, which is what we call general revelation. And God has revealed himself through the course of history, speaking to various individuals and having preserved that interaction in, a, a, in an infallible uh, record that we call the Bible. Okay? Now, would you like to dispute the first part? Why do you want me to do that? Okay, because you're asking, do you accept what I said? You, you just want to have like a bitch fight? Okay, hey, guess what? Welcome to my ban list, okay? So, are you a Christian? Hold on. Okay. Screen name. Notice he just he fled. Do we have any mobs in the room? Do we 
we have any mods now? I don't think so. Okay. Let me get a hold of the mod. Do you, do you need mods to rescue you? No, we just need to take care of something. Hello, you a question, Hello Mr. Darth Dawkins. How can I help you? Yeah. Um, can you look in the guest mod chat yes. and remove the individual that I gave? Uh, yeah, thank you. Okay. Oh, is he? Yeah, is he he's at it again? again under yeah under a new account. So okay, it looks like they got him though. Yeah, this is the little teenage boy who has very small testicles who stalks me. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. So okay. is it all right? I think it's I think it's handled now, right? It's what? Uh, I think it's handled now, right? Yeah, I'm looking he's, at them at the guest mod chat. It looks, perfect. yeah, he looks like he's been okay. contained. All right. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank, no problem. Thank, thank you for the quick response. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Shall shall we continue? Okay. So so the guy said, "Well, how has God revealed Himself?" And I said, "God has revealed Himself in each and every fact, right?" But you see, obviously, He didn't. That reason he did, doesn't he didn't carry. Agree. Hold on a second. Obviously, He didn't accept it. But he didn't have the testicles enough to, to challenge what I was about to unpack. Okay, so he was a little troll. What was that, Yen? So <clears throat> you typically um, you know, display the view that your God explains everything, but that wouldn't that would go against um, you know what. Um, Uh, sorry, lost my train of thought, but uh, that goes against. Ah, uh... oh, sorry, I apologize. Have you been drinking today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, and by the way, you people in the room laughed. Why do you think I asked that question? Because he has a prior history of this. Really? Really? So you you thought you thought I was just being a smart ass? No, yeah, I yeah, thought it was a weird. joke. Yeah. Hey, Darth, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What's your denomination? Uh, I'm I'm not denominational. I'm a Bible believing Christian. Uh, if you were to character characterize my theology, I would just say it's biblical, fundamental, evangelical. Okay, thank you. Well, I have about 15 more minutes. Do we have any atheists in here who think their atheism is coherent? Oh, not me. I know we have atheists in here, but a lot of them are just, they're, they're, they're afraid to present their atheism. Well, we had a good uh, a good challenge yesterday. Somebody challenged my claim that there was no um, chemical bond directly between the nucleotides, and and they said that there was, and they could provide proof. And then when they provided a molecular depiction of it, I realized that we were actually talking about two separate things. And it, it was it was interesting because what I was referring to is that. Each nucleotide on one side of the ladder, right, um, coupled with its pairing nucleotide, which makes up a, a rung on the ladder of DNA, I refer to that as a single nucleotide, but it's actually paired with a, a different nucleotide that it only pairs with. And my point was that that each rung on the ladder that I represented as a single nucleotide, but is actually two nucleotides, one with its pair, so that when the DNA ladder splits, 
it can recapitulate the the other side. Um, that the each rung on the ladder is not chemically bonded to the one above or below it, other than the fact they're both attached to the same sugar phosphate backbone. And so his objection really wasn't correcting what I was saying. He's just it, his correction was that each individual nucleotide that makes up half of the uh, nucleotide rung on the ladder is chemically bonded to its pair. But that's not what I was referring to. But it was an interesting challenge. I thought that was it was it was a good objection. But we were talking about two different things. Hey, Darth, this guy yeah. Lols. He sent me a private message, and he's told me that he wants to defend atheism. Who? The guy with the cheap picture, lols. Now, if you troll... No, he, he sent me a message. Lols? Yes, he sent me a message telling okay, me, well, tell good. him I will now, do it. Good, I'll. you can do it. But if you troll, without further warning, I will give you the banish roll, and you won't be able to get back in here again. You won't even see the room, okay? Okay. Oh no no! Oh, that's I forgot who I was dealing with. No, you're you're done. Ah, okay. okay. Remember, hey, remember, remember when you accused me of circular reasoning, dumbass? Remember that? Yeah. yeah that was okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. All I have to do is simply say this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, if God exists and He chooses to reveal Himself through some manifestation, okay. Can I just write this? Then down it, text no. Here? Okay. Uh, listen. If God, I could just formulate it this way, okay? Simple as this. Um, you see, if your analysis is true, you wouldn't be able to prove anything exists, right? But because you're a philosophical dumbass, you don't realize it. So we're going to go through this, okay? I could just simply say, if God exists and he manifests himself through some aspect, okay, right, that that indicates that he exists, then God exists. Premise two, that particular manifestation I have encountered. Therefore, God exists. So now there's no circularity, dum-dum. Okay, so can you just repeat that? So if God exists yeah. and he yeah. manifests... So, yeah, if God exists and he chooses to reveal himself through some manifestation in creation, okay, so God, we, God would have to manifest himself somehow in and through creation, okay? Now, so, but the manifestation itself indicating God is not God himself, okay? So okay, I could just sorry. simply say, if God exists and he chooses to reveal himself through some aspect of creation, he exists. There has been this manifestation indicating God, therefore God exists. It's just simply a reformulization of what I stated. Now, if you oh, said my if you said my original formulization is circular reasoning, then you couldn't prove anything. So, for example, what if I said to you, what if we agreed that, um, let's say a rare, uh, um, a, a, let's say Bigfoot actually exists, okay? Mm -hmm. Right? If Bigfoot exists uh, and he appears before somebody and somebody sees him, or, or I, no, I should say, were Bigfoot to exist and he were to encounter another human being who observes him, then he would exist, right? Do you object to that premise, that first premise? Um, yeah, there would need to be a sub-argument indicating... No, 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 that's, no, that's, no, that's the first premise, dum-dum. There's nothing objectionable about the premise. If Bigfoot, if Bigfoot, uh, if Bigfoot exists and were to appear before someone and they saw him, then we would know that he exists, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you, yeah. Do you object to that premise? Does it point to God? Okay. Now, Yanis, stop talking, or I'll give you the red badge of courage because you're intoxicated. Okay. Oh, now, thank you. So the first premise, there's nothing objectionable about, about it, right? Um, if now, someone now, sees Bigfoot, then we can know Bigfoot exists. No, I said if Bigfoot exists and he were to present himself visually to somebody, then we would know he exists. 
There's nothing objectionable about that. Yeah, if you presuppose the reliability of a sense perceptions, then yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. Now, then we could say somebody has observed Bigfoot. Therefore, Bigfoot exists. Yeah. Now, yeah. your reasoning is that would be circular. It's not. No. No, but you see, you all I did was replace the value of Bigfoot with God. And you said my reasoning was circular, but all I did was change the values, dum dum. Have a nice day. No. You're such wait. a you're such you're such a sophist. Where do where do they grow these people? Uh, a plant. Well, somewhere where they actually have manners. What's that? That's toxic. Well, I, I give insults out when they're well-deserved and well-earned, okay? No, you don't do that. It's called manners, sir. Okay. Oh, so you ne you never insult anybody? I actually never ex ever try to insult everybody, uh, anybody. You've never tried to insult someone? So you're a liar, too. Uh, That's toxic. No, no, no. Sometimes I use an insult, yes. But, well, um, un unfortunately, uh, but unfortunately, I, the problem I, I, is I, you I, evolved. I, listen to me. You evolved to have manners, and I mutated and evolved not to. And your objection to my unmannerly way is just simply a chance mutation the way you think and the way, the way I act is the result of a chance mutation. So you're complaining about it is just a re result of chance mutations. And my objecting to you is the result of chance mutation. So what are you going to say now? Well, I've got to say, yeah, uh, that's a uh, very well, uh, very well, very well. Yeah. Well. And you know why I said that? I don't actually believe that, but that's what you believe. Yeah. Well. So therefore, Therefore, your objection to how I conduct myself has no moral significance other than one dog is barking behind a chain link fence and his companion dog who lives in the same house with him uh, genetically is more sedate. So one dog's barking and the other's not, but they're in the same environmental conditions, right? So one of them mutated to be more sedate, and the one didn't. So there's nothing right or wrong from your evolutionary standpoint as a Darwinist. Okay. Okay. Now, since you're a Darwinist, why in the world would you believe that a universal common ancestry could happen over millions of years when the improbability of random mutations building the genome could not would, would be so astronomically improbable even if i provided you with a trillion squared earth-like planets over 13.7 billion years you oh, wouldn't yeah. even you, from a probabilistic stand listen carefully from a probabilistic standpoint random mutations could could not even probabilistically produce the coding sequence for even a rudimentary protein, okay. How do you know that's so? So how do how do I know how it's do I know like that? Nineteen well, well, seventy statisticians, right? Well, because because we know molecularly what the units of information are in the DNA that will code for complex anatomy and physiology. We know what the molecular coding sequences are for proteins and other re regulatory functions. So we can calculate with absolute mathematical precision what the odds are of a mutation or a, a group of mutations to produce the coding sequence for one amino acid followed by other mutations putatively uh, resulting in the coding for a rudimentary protein. So each coding sequence for one amino acid is called a codon. Okay. Well, you know, I just All right. believe. All right. I have. Day. I have to. I have to step away. I'll be back. Oh. Okay. This is it. Okay. Can we well. go back to that uh, inference rule again. I'm pretty sure it's still just begging the question, but. Yeah.
Same I don't know if I'm allowed to speak in here anymore. Batman. I don't want to get banished because this is too funny. Same guy like Mr. Batman. Strange. One word. You what? Well, is it really begging the question? Why are you? Why do you say that it's begging the question? Can you explain? Oh, look at it. Right. P1 is if God exists and he chooses to reveal himself through manifestation, then we can know God exists. There has been some manifestation. God exists. Uh, so I guess you would need to give an argument for P2 then. But I, I think the real question is the impossibility of the contrary, which implies a contradiction. Any worldview that is not is God concept. I've asked that question like five times and was well, worried I'd be banned. He's, well, I don't even think that's his primary argument. His primary argument is a transcendental, like Kantian sort of argument. Yeah, it's, that's that's reasonable, but like the whole way that you can get to it, that it's uh, the possibil impossibility of the contrary is if there's a contradiction in everything else, right? Well, the contradiction to things like empiricism would be pretty obvious, would it not? No, there, there's empiric. Dude, we're talking about metaphysics, dude. Where's the contradiction in the in the worldview of uh, not God world? There, there is none. Empiricism, dude. That's an epistemology. What are we talking about? Okay, and the contradiction there would be randomness, and it has but been but every worldview has to have an epistemology. Yeah, I, I I agree. We're talking about ontology or metaphysic, man. Like, what's what's what is true? Not not how do you know what's true? Well, you'd have to establish an epistemology in order to even answer that question. No, you don't. My point is that you don't need to know. Why, why would you have to know what's true? It, all we're saying is that there may well, be a universe where there is not God. There's an ethereal orb, a non-mind that constitutes everything and makes things intelligible. Where's well, the contradiction? That, that means it, chunk. But isn't it? Isn't it true that you have to establish some sort of... Um, no, that's just it, what they say. It doesn't make any sense. What they're saying is well, that it's logically impossible for the contrary. That means that there has to be a logical contradiction in the contrary, right? <laughs> they, they, well, well th I think it's pretty... Uh, their epistemology is em empiricism, no? It, you keep it talking is, about epistemology. Right? Do, do you know what a logical contradiction is? I'm not trying to be like... Rude. Yes, I know, like, rudimentary, like, elementary logic. Yeah, so it's just P and not P. So where's P and not P in not-God world or atheism or agnosticism? Can you can you say that one more time? Yeah, a contradiction is just P and not P, the negation of P. So yes. where is that in where is that in the atheistic worldview or agnostic worldview or any other worldview? There simply isn't. It's just it's just a claim that they they want to use the power of logic to say logical impossibility, but not meet the requirements to do so. And then by saying that, they say, well, okay, well, everything's impossible. Therefore, the default must be my worldview. It's 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 just a ridiculous argument. <laughs> I don't see the other argument though. Can you explain the other argument? Uh, uh what what other argument? I'm sorry. The atheist or agnostic argument. It, the whole point is that it, it, it doesn't matter, right? If you can imagine a possible world that doesn't include the God concept that whoever is talking about, then it's logically possible, right? You can do that with anything. Exactly. I don't think that's Exactly. It's, it's, log it's logically impossible for uh, a cow to jump over the moon. There's no contradiction. Here comes my wife. Hold on, so laws of physics aren't logical. Uh, well, they, but so so no, we're, we're not talking about soundness, right? We're talking about logical possibility. We're talking about the validity of a. They count. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I know it sounds silly, but when you say something is logically impossible, what you're really saying is something like, um, you know, a bachelor can be married, right? Or a, a bachelor can be, yeah, a bachelor can be married. Yeah. That's logically impossible, right? That, that's a very strong thing to say, right? So when you say it, you need to show the contradiction. An obvious contradiction with the bachelor being married is that bachelor entails not being married, right? Isn't there like subclassifications for it, like uh, metaphysical contradiction or metaphysically impossible, things like that? Uh, I, I mean, we're talking about logical impossibility, right? I mean, yeah, sure. Something's metaphysically impossible if you say one thing is metaphysically true and then there's a contradiction like you know cats rule the world and then you say cats don't rule the world that's a you know a contradiction but wouldn't that be logically contradictory yeah that, that would also be logically contradictory 
Would you say that the laws of logic are metaphysical in nature? Um, they would have. I don't to know be. how to answer that question. No, I, I don't think so. Depends on your philosophy around epistemology. <laughs> I do always go back to epistemology because I do. I do think that's a foundation for any sort of argument with regards to worldviews. I just can't. Well, yeah, if, if you're trying to prove something, sure, but like we're not making the claims here, man. And I'm not saying it's irrational to be a priest up or a Christian or anything like that. It's totally rational. It's just what they're, he's trying to say, or these brand of priest ups are trying to say is that it's logically impossible for any other worldview to exist. That's just ridiculous. Fucking true. And that's why every time I ask him, he just bans me because he knows, he knows it's ridiculous. He's talked to PTHDs about this and they just like <laughs> shut him down right away. <laughs> Well, he, I, Iram was farting with that last night. We got close, and then he uh, told him stop, you know? <laughs> yeah, isn't this guy just like Mr. Batman's boyfriend or something? Mr. Batman's at least honest. This guy lies to your face. Like that nucleotide thing yeah. he was talking about? Dude, I have a degree in biochemistry, and I'm an MD. I'm a doctor, and he was arguing with me, calling me an idiot because of the dumb claims that he was making about nucleotides. He doesn't realize that nucleotide includes the ribose. That's what a nucleotide is. And then he tried to change it to say that he was talking about the complementary base pair. But the complementary base pairs are also bound to each other by a hydrogen bound. So he's both on both fronts. And the greater point that he was trying to make is just absurd. I don't even understand it. What type of uh, practice do you have? Uh, ER. I don't have a practice. I just shift and work on shifts. Oh. Well, that's very uh, hectic. I work night shifts, so I see a bunch of nonsense primarily, honestly. Just a bunch of like people like overdosing and drunks and car well, wrecks I, and stuff. I had a lady who I thought was normal, but she can't be. She came in with uh, a ton of complaints. She had like a knee pain, shoulder pain, eye irritation. Trying to get pain. opioids? No, no. She just had like uh, anus irritation. So I do an exam with a nurse in the room and I see an amoxicillin tablet halfway inserted into her anus. Because she has a hemorrhoid there, so she thought that the antibiotic would treat the hemorrhoid tablet. Oh my yeah. god! It was just dude. absurd. I'm like, don't do. That. What do you mean, don't do that? And she's like, well, the real reason I'm here is because of my left ear pain. I look in her ear, and she has this huge uh, Motrin tablet lodged into her ear. <laughs> Are you fucking taking the piss? <laughs> no, it was it was great. That's dude, in I, America. I'll, yeah, it was in America. I, I work in West Philadelphia, so it's like very poor, like you know, uneducated people. So wait. Was Fresh Prince from West Philly or East That's Philly? insane, that story. Oh, I can't I'll be right back. I'll yeah, be right back. West Philadelphia, born and raised, right? Yeah, I mean, she, I think we looked at her history and then she had like a history of a psychotic episode or something like that. But she seemed very, like, not like a normal person. And it was just, my, my jaw was just like. <laughs> well, so she thought that pressing the pill into, the, into wherever it hurt would solve it, yeah? Yeah. Oh, my God. And then not even two hours later, the person I signed out to, I told him about it because I thought it was funny. She comes back with more eye irritation because she put this big glob of Vaseline in her eye. What the fuck? Dude, when, when, when people are this, dude, this is, wait, this is the end times, man. It's the decadence we've been all been oh, talking about. <laughs> like, and like, was, was she living on by herself, you know? Or what? Oh, what's wait, why did, she, why did she stick Vaseline in her eyes? No, was she living by herself, or did, does she, was she living with someone? What, what was the story know. there? I don't know. I didn't ask. I just discharged her immediately. <laughs> she was, had to be on right. something, man. Yeah. People are just really, really stupid. Yeah, it, it, it happens, honestly. Maybe just a reflection of her face. Dude, to be that dumb, that's like insane, bro. That's like, that's, oh my, that's ultra low, man. See, that's, you, low, think low. that's you think that's stupid. I know someone who set their room on fire because they can. They decided it'd be really funny if they put like a hot boiling kettle of water in the in the toaster for some reason, and that caused an electrical fire. And then they're surprised that this happened. And it's like, bro, how are you dumb? Hold on. So why did they put the? They did it to clean it out of crumbs, according to them. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. Oh, well, no, it was an experiment off. of some sort. No, it was, it was, it was to wash, to, and I quote, wash the crumbs out. Oh, well, no. Oh, <laughs> fucking dumbass.
absolute tit. What the fuck? Why would you not put it outside for one? You know, you need to do that. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. They did it. They did it plugged in, connected onto oh, the wall with the switch off. on. Oh man! Absolute. And it's like uh, surprise Pikachu face when it catches fire. Absolute, like, absolute, absolute wow. fucking absolute better. Well, someone could have died, man. The fuck. Thankfully, it only left like a, a big scorch mark in their kitchen. So, Dude, if there's a curtain there. there or something, bro, if there's a curtain anywhere near there, they could have lit up the room, bro. Yeah, not very smart. Fucking tit. <laughs> I suppose it would have been all right. They would have, yeah, they would have put. Fuck. Well, I just realized I had push a talk on and I had a keybind on, so it was kind of wild. Sorry, no, I was saying that uh, that's pretty <laughs> stupid. I think that's one of the downfalls of a modern society, you know? Now, you know dude, the woman with the pills. Uh, to, cl- to clear these people out. Yeah, the dude, paramedics the and all that. Let me guess. Was the per- what? Yeah. The doctor would have told you. You would have known, man. Do you imagine so, sticking pills up your butt because you have hemorrhoids? That's so, so, In your ear, bro. In your ear as well, dude. So, you know, Mr. Toaster Man, was he, like, drunk at the time when this idea, this bright idea came to his, to his no, head? No, this was, this was a sane decision made sober. Oh, my God. So there's no, not even, no. Oh. What? I mean, he what? might have been a bit, he might have been a bit sleep deprived, but Honestly, what? this is par for the course, honestly, with him. At least he learns from his mistakes. Like, I'll give him that one. Wait, yeah, who are you, you talking know. about? Uh, t- my mate who Einstein. caused an electrical oh. fire. It, Albert, uh, literally Albert Einstein. The man tried to clean a toaster yeah. out with a, with a kettle yeah. of water yeah. while it was he on. Did, uh, while time. it was yeah. on? Yeah. 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 While it was okay. plugged I'm... in. A bit, a bit very, this is a, like a specimen we're dealing with here. I think the NASA yeah. wants to recruit him. Yeah. You gotta be totally dumb to do that. Takes all Dude, everyone I know, it takes all with, with any common time. sense, would have just fucking emptied it upside down, or turned in or not, whatever. It's empty upside down and off it goes. He's working it's again, like, right? Why would you put water it's, in? It, it's his way. No, no. You know? His, it he said all... he was gonna put the water in and then turn it upside down so that the right. water would drag all the right. crumbs out. Uh, like, you know, he's gonna make them stick inside the wally. Uh, it takes all. <laughs> it takes all special kinds. That means they're never gonna come all, out. I mean, gonna stick to all, that thing. That's the all, opposite. Is gonna... All special kinds. Oh my god. All special kinds. Yeah. Is it literal oh, Homer Simpson? Me. Like literally, how he's uh, not being killed. I'm surprised they. Dude, I'm surprised they didn't get a Hoover and trying to Hoover them out. I'm surprised they didn't go to that far extent. Okay, I've actually done that, and it works quite well. Oh, my God. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> now, listen. You're, 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 you're listen, to okay, talk. listen. I'm one to talk me. as well, but it yeah. worked. It genuinely worked. We've got, worked. Of, mate, we've got the step to and son over here, man. Yeah, listen, Hoover, listen. Hoover, if I tip Tom it out, if I tip it out it's going to go, and, and fucking, it's and gonna fucking go all over my kitchen counter. If I put the Hoover on, then it just sucks it out. Yeah. It's fine. You got Henry Hoover over there with his fucking toaster and his Hoover, and then you have fucking SpongeBob <coughs> fucking going man, off with the man, fucking. How do you toast. people live your lives? How have you made it this far? Uh, dumb luck, I think. <laughs> dumb luck. Uh, I exist. I, I just exist despite. Well, I suppose congratulations are in order, man. As far as I've got, so I suppose, yeah, congratulations. Thanks. Thanks for the giggle, anyway. It was worth the giggle. Yeah. Oh, so, what are you? What is Dawkins talking about right now? I don't know, man. I, th- I think he's dealing with another part. He... Pills in people's ears, man. That's what we're talking about. Is that a thing that exists? Can I, like, take a pill through my ear? No, that, that, maybe in a few years, but not, yeah, not at the moment. Not this current stuff they're giving their prescribed. 
Because you can you can already take pills by shoving them up your arse. So surely, if you shove them in your ear, you can also take them. It's just not an effective yeah. method. It drops the ear. There are like these little ear wicks that like kind of absorb the medication that you put in there, but not not a pill. That I'm aware of. Okay. I guess it's just like a silly. Right. Like that, how's that, that gonna, right? Like how's how's it going to know to break up and then you know permeate? Well, they, you know that woman? She put a pill up her ass. I'm surprised it didn't it didn't absorb through her anus. No, because it's it's like it's called like a, a suppository or whatever it is. You stick it up there and it, it goes in. Yeah, it's just she had already also been seen for her hemorrhoid like two weeks earlier and gotten the the steroid cream, which is the proper treatment, and then like decided to take an amoxicillin tablet from God knows where she got it from. I'll send somebody if they want to see the uh, the little drawing I did in the chart. Her her paper information isn't there, so. <clears throat> Send me a message. Oh, hold on, so, hold on. Has the medication got to be of a different type for it to get absorbed through the anus? Is it got to be like more powdery or something? I, I don't know what the stories look like, actually. But yeah, they're, they're, they're uh, different. Medication through your anus—that sounds homosexual, dude. Well, it's the it's only way can people can absorb it, man. Yeah, it's surprisingly common, especially for people who've had like the. Like, what is it called? The bit? What's the bit where the food goes in? The penis. Like the the long bit where the food comes it's on the per, on the human. That one, yeah. It's like and people now? have had that shot out. Dude, I, I, I've heard of some truck drivers. They they put a tampon in vodka and they put. What the fuck? So their breath won't smell like alcohol. They're holics, you see. Truck drivers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So they pass the breathalyzer, but they uh, but they still get a bit of drunk because they're still alcoholics. You see, they can't get off it. I hear in Mississippi you're allowed to drink beer as long as you're not over the legal limit. Like you can uh, have an open container and be drinking it. I, I've heard people like do crazy things to get alcohol, like you know, like pass through, like you know, there are people like injecting oranges with fucking you know, with vodka. <laughs> Honestly, I think all drugs should be just criminalized. Uh, this shit happens, man. I'm <laughs> people are desperate out there, man. People are hard. Times out there, man. People are hurting. Like buckaroos. Can I tell you this one for you? Like, watch this. I don't know how this... Look up um, YouTube. Australian man passes breathalyzer. He's absolutely fucking drunk. But guess what? He passes it. He some and the guy gets the, 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 the officer. He says, "Yeah, I'm going to try and use a different one, see if it's like, um, you know, defective." And he passes it again. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> he's just like, "Ah, yeah, fuck it, I'm, I'm drinking." Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Um, well, like, oh, I was just asking my sister, my, my daughter. Well, you uh, know what? Like, like, he might have like swat, you, you know. Well, you know the trick uh, you can do. You can you can uh, if you um drink some apple cider just before you take a breathalyzer and you wash your mouth out really nicely. You can. Uh, I yeah. Can show you that there's video. ways to fool the breathalyzer. Yeah. My favorite guy... one is the my favorite one is the guy from like Leeds. Kind of or make something. the grade with the apple cider mask. So. There's the guy from Leeds, and they try they give him a breathalyzer, and then they just go, "It's a radio, you muppet," and it's, he's just been like sucking on this guy's radio antenna the whole time. Oh, oh, yeah, sorry, it's apple vinegar, sorry. Apple vinegar with the breathalyzer. It's apple vinegar. You've got to just rinse your mouth out of apple vinegar. Make sure you don't swallow it. You throw up, fuck up, probably. Yeah, and, you, and, and, and then, you can, then you can pass it. Have any of you been the designated decoy before? I don't know what that means. Okay, you know how there's the designated driver who drives people home? Well, the designated decoy, driver. you act oh, drunk. Oh, change seats quickly, yeah. I've done you, no, 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 you act drunk in order to fool the police. What are you... That's kind of a waste of time. No, because it distracts them, then everyone else could fuck off. It's quite funny. Or just swapping places. Yeah, I've, I've swapped places before with a friend of mine. Before. Yeah. Like, and you just say that, like... Like, yeah. Uh, I was wondering, is, is Darth uh, just taking a break, or is he coming back? He had to step away. Someone knocked on his door.
And yeah, there was a case in the UK where once the police uh, the police stopped this these guys were speeding massively, massive speeding. Do you see the guy? I think it was England or Ireland where the guy was just drinking. And he basically yeah. and he passed the breath. Oh, they couldn't give him a fine. They didn't know who to give him the fine. Dude. Guy like blew a zero. And he was I just like that. Yeah, in Australia, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that what I want to talk about. Even possible. That. They had like two two breathalyzers yeah. on him. And he blew a zero. Makes no sense. <laughs> I'm impressed, yeah. honestly. I saw that video, that was funny. And the guy the the fucking policeman looked like a TV license inspector as well. He just didn't look like a fucking you know what I mean? Have you seen those people? Like they're the I swear they're the nosiest cunts around. Man, I don't know. Like some fellas, they they're like they look like police officers. Like they're police officers, but they don't look like that. They look like the fucking typical person who's at fucking social services or whatever on the dole office, whatever fucking behind the. They don't look like they'd be a police officer. They look like an angry cunt. Yeah, like you know, TV license inspector or a fucking postman, and somehow they're fucking. End up being a policeman. It's like, uh... I had one of them show up at my door, and I just said, "No, thanks, not today." And that was that. On well, TV, yeah, yeah man, one it, of the tele licensing that, guys. Yeah, you, you just gotta, you gotta have a good layout. Just have the TV out of the corner of the room where you can't see it if you're you looking at the window. You got your TV license, mate. You're all right, yeah. Yeah, you gotta hide it. You gotta put it out. Got my knife and license as well, mate, and my spoon license. I don't even yeah. own a TV, so I don't know why they're sending people round to my place. It's uh, like, fucking, okay. Man, they do it for anything, man, these days. Like, yeah, I mean, that's why it'd be great if you're living on an apartment, like the top floor. I mean, that's hard, you know, mm-hmm. how they could stop. Because then you'd know before they come in, they'd have to open the door because like, they have to open the latch. It's like, hey, can we check No, because they, can, and they I, can just press the what? services switch, man. Most flats have a services button that just unlocks the door. Mm-hmm. They can't just do that. You like, are, they say. You you well, Unless you have a latch. You have a latch, though. Mm-hmm. I imagine. Do you have, a, you have a service entrance for the... the... Like, no, it's like, that's... what I'm saying is, have you not seen the button? So, like, you've got the buttons for every door that, that calls them on the bell, and then there's another one called services. If you press services, it just opens the door. It's designed for post like, yeah. 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 Not all of us have I've got enough money for a pony in a cargo bay, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So just because you can get a pony delivered with your fucking services entrances, not everyone can afford that shit. Some people's yeah, fucking... exactly. I've got. I know. Sorry. Some people. I've, I forgot. Some people don't have access to punting and services, or, the, or, or my valet who drives me to work every morning. Oh I've yeah, your butler. Yeah, my yeah, butler. Yeah, my butler called Jeff. It's actually a weakness that not many people know about. But you can use that. If you want to do daytime burglary, most people actually leave their flats unlocked in, in the wealthier areas. So you can just press the button and walk right in. Oh. I've seen one guy do this one trick. It was fucking funny. He did this. It was like a meme or whatever. And he just pressed all the buttons. <laughs> and he does that. He says, someone's always expecting someone to arrive. <laughs> Somebody's always expected to show up. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, it's true. At least all the... Pe- if there's like how many... If it's 20 people in the apartment, like, at least one of them would expect someone to show up, you know? Or, you know what I mean? Yeah. The other one I've seen people do is, um, because you know the tradition of leaving spare keys under your pots and things like that? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, the, the easy thing to do there is just check under people's pots, nick the spare key, then come back later with a couple of mates and then nick things of value. And do you... Are you a thief, sir? Uh, no, I can just think like one, for all intents and purposes. Sir? So... So if we were to go, if we were to go to Buckingham's palace and we were to take some jewels, some some crown uh, jewels, how would we do this? Uh, the crown jewels aren't at Buckingham Palace; they're in the tower. Well, in I the mean, 
first of all, you would probably want a bunch of Indians pulling this heist off. Because if they if they get caught, their excuse can be, well, you guys stole it from us. So we're just taking it back. So we shouldn't be arrested. Did you say Native Americans, dude, really? Like, I'm Indian, and it's like, you should just say Native Americans. Oh, no, no, in Indians. Indians. But they're not Indian. The, the British Empire stole the crown from the Indians. Oh, you're talking about... Oh, okay. The gold. I thought you meant Native American. Oh. Sorry, I'm kind of high right now. Oh, oh guys, do you, do you know why um, uh, why the sun never sets in the British Empire? Because it always rains? No, it's because uh, God doesn't trust the British in the dark. Oh. Do you know why Diogenes went to a crowd of people with a lamp in the daylight? You're looking for an honest man. Mm. Now you know. And Did, now during the daylight out. Didn't he walk up to some... Yeah. No, he walked up to Alexander the Great and told him to fuck off out my sunlight, didn't he? No, he, the other way around. he walked up to him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, other way around. Okay. He was sitting down. He was enjoying himself. The cunt was... A, yeah, he ruined his sunbathing. Are you getting in my sunlight? It's aggressive. Alexander then said, If I was not Alexander the Great, I would wish to be Diogenes. And Diogenes then returned and replied, If I was not Diogenes, I would also wish to be Diogenes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that man, he's great. I'm an absolute mad lad. Yeah, man. We all I wonder what he talent. would say about today's times, bro. Oh, uh, he he would say these basic trolls—they nothing but fucking bitches to me. <laughs> and he would just piss on them and then defecate and, ma and masturbate as well, walking away. What do you think he would say? He'd probably uh, say nothing and just like shit, say, so shit publicly and then fuck off. No, I think I think he'd be yeah. fucking horrified, bro. I think he'd get his lamp and he'd get a napalm powered lamp. <laughs> oh, oh! Did he did he leave? Where, where's Doth? To see to prove the no, point. No, he's he still here. Since his time. Okay. Still here. Yeah, I mean, he was and, quite like he he was great. He made fun of Plato, which I recommend, and I think he was secretly better. He was in ways. He was ahead of the curve, you know. He was more funnier he's... than Plato. Let's be real. Uh, Semper, who are you talking about? His life about him, so having a laugh. Uh, uh, Diogenes, like Diogenes. Oh, Diogenes. Plato, yeah. I'm trying to remember because I, I I get the three philosophers confused all the time. Um, uh, uh, Aristotle and Diogenes, uh, w w like, no, like what no, they talk about. No, no, the first one, the first one, Socrates. Then it's yeah, Socrates, Plato, Diogenes, then it's Aristotle. And Aristotle, and there's also Pluto. Mm, Plato. 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 It's Socrates. Uh, the, the one I remember, I think it was Aristotle's take on it, like his his idea of forms and matter. Where you have to have an idea of it, but then the actual fuck, I can't remember the. But let me look it up, actually. Conceptualized geometry and, and trigonometry. No, it's like it's like how, the, uh, how we understand things. Yeah, uh, all forms do not exist independently of things. Every form is a form of something. Substantial and accidental forms are are not created, but neither are they internal. They are introduced into things when it is made. Or they may be required later, as in case of some accidental yeah. forms. Is he talking about how, like, if you talk about something in the abstract or in theory, that's still coming from something, right? Yes, you're more or less, yeah. It's it's kind yeah, of hard okay. to that, like, that makes like, sense. Like, rationalize it, but yeah, it's, it's it's like how do you understand a tree is a tree? Exact like it, like like or how, how can you explain it to somebody else? And like 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 how is that? What what? No, it's it's hard to explain. It's a whole bunch of philosophy bullshit. It's not really. I can't even think about but um, the thing about it is, though, like uh, Pythagoras gets undermined. Like he's he's the guy who even came up with the bloody term, like with the 
phrase philosophy. You know that, like philosophy. Who? Pythagoras. 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 Oh, the tr- you know you know the whole story behind him, right? That he had a cult and shit. Yeah, Pythagoreans, and he was like, um, he was one of the biggest mathematicians of that time, that era, yeah. and he was the one that came up with that that universal notion of that, like, the, um, mathematics is the language to understand the universe. He was the one that yeah. sort of like he yeah. he thought that there was like forty two meant like death, four meant like eternal victory, like like one was God, three like the numbers corresponded with things. Mm. Yeah. And like, there is some truth in that, and like, and this is the thing, like, and then you have like, Plato who just generalizes things, and he owes a lot to fucking Pythagoras, as do the other ones as well, the other philosophers, like. So like, this is the thing, like we we have the three fucking the Trinity, you know, like the three head honchos, all right? Yeah, yeah. But that's but there's so much truth and so much you could discover from these pre-Socratic philosophers, and we've that's what I always think, yeah, yeah. There is. is that I think there's more classical time yeah. philosophy. They, they they thought so much more. You, you, you can make the claim that it's more vague and more like abstract, but that that's what I say is like the really hard hitting philosophy points where it's like holy shit, they're really getting to like like things that well, you wouldn't think about yeah. naturally. Like like what like what is a human? It's a it's a it's a four it's a it's a bipedal uh a hairless chicken. That that whole meme. You know? Yeah, like, they went like, and broke. Kind of hard hitting yeah, questions. Broke down. Yeah, they went and broke this shit down to like its barest essentials, and that's what they're writing about. You know, what is a chicken? It's pure materialism. It's, they're looking in the wrong place. What is a human? A, a, a featherless, two, a bipedal chicken? I really hate this take, and it drives me mad every time I hear it. Don't be a material. Yeah, I agree. Materialism kind of sucks. Honestly. Materialist, sir. Uh, don't be reductionist to the point of looking for the po- for the god molecule at fucking uh, CERN or something. Don't go down that path. It's, it's a- Would you say, I forget, was Diogenes the guy that lived in the barrel, or who was the guy that lived in the... Yeah, no, he, he lived was lived the in guy the barrel. Who- he was... Yeah, he lived in a barrel, and he, he shat was- and masturbated in public. He was yeah, very- exactly. It- Colorful. So would you would, would you guys call that like like, like, like peak uh, mat- materialism right there, or like 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 you don't care for anything else besides like understanding and like like knowledge and like just being yourself? Like you don't believe in other gods, you don't believe in a higher power. He did not masturbate in public. That's a lie. Then, yo, did Darth leave? Darth left. Uh, Darth yeah, is a oh, he did leave. Never mind. He did. Yeah, he left. The Oh man, is it just me or whenever he's talking? It's just like the most like creepy like. Really slow conversation. I don't know. I just don't. I don't get it. How old are you? I'm 19, but I, I like listening to Darth Dawkins. He sounds extraordinarily uh, one-wayed and.